Good morning. Happy Tuesday. This morning, I'm going to do things a little bit different. Well, I mean, I don't know. Different, same, I don't know. We're going to, it's going to be the same. I'm just going to talk about something. So, good morning and welcome to the Kelly Show. Oh, it's so dumb. So, anyway, Zumba has come out with a new shake. Let me see if you guys can see this. Shake, shake, shake. Very Zumba-ish, right? Um, shake, shake, shake. And I got some samples in. And I was really excited about this. Because not that I'm into like multi-level marketing or anything like that. But I'm always excited to share about new products that I try, you know, I I appreciate when somebody that I know and I respect and I admire tells me that they, you know, I don't know, if they can kind of take a little bit of the fear out of stuff. I mean, ultimately, you're the only one who can decide if you like something or not. But I was excited about these because I like the nutrition profile on these. There's 100 calories, 2 grams of fat, 11 carbs. 16 grams of protein, and is that the same for all of them? Yeah, these are, so it's like a chocolate, a mocha, and a vanilla. Um, Thrilla Vanilla, Coco Loco, and La Vida Mocha. So very new Zumba names. Kind of fun. I like the, and I like the packaging. It's pretty cool. Um, these are supposed to be gluten-free and vegan they're made with plant protein, pea protein, um, and I don't know. I really, I really liked the nutrition profile on these. These looked really good. I prefer something with a little bit more protein for the calories, so I like something with fewer carbohydrates in it. Um, but if you're not, if you're not, I mean, if you're just looking for like a post-workout snack, um, these might be good. Um, yeah, so I was really excited about these because I wanted, I, you know, I don't mind recommending products to people if I really like them. So first impression, cool look, good fun name, it's backed by the Zimba brand, and the, I mean, the ingredients in it are pretty quality, it would seem, and the nutrition profile is really not that bad. Um, I mixed the mocha one up this morning, and um, it's really thick. So this is, it says to mix it with 10 ounces. I had just put eight because my experience has been that protein, it's a little too thin. I like mine a little bit on the thicker side, but I really could have gone for 10 ounces of water in this thing because this is really super thick, super duper thick. Um, it recommends that you mix it with ice to make it like a milkshake, and I can definitely see why. I don't know, if you're going to, if you're going to just mix this with water, you know, I would, anyway. Anyway, first impressions of taste, it's okay. It's okay. It's um, it's a little chalky, a little bit chalky. And I will be honest, with chocolate protein, I usually try to stay away from a chocolate whey protein or something like that because of the fact that it nor it's really hard to find a good chocolate protein. Um, I have a few that I really, really like that are tasty, but chocolate protein, you usually get like a chalky protein type flavor that can be kind of tough to take. Vanilla is usually very safe. It's very vanilla. It's very safe. Um, there's very few vanilla proteins on the market that are not terrible, you know, and, and for a protein supplement that you're usually taking after a workout, sometimes before, um, you know, vanilla is usually a safe bet. Chocolate is a little bit more risky just because of the fact that, um, you know, it's hard to find a good chocolate protein. So flavor, it's really not that bad. Really, it's really not that bad. I'm not going to finish this one just because I just wanted to taste it and I want higher protein. So the protein that I use is 110 calories and it's got 24 grams of protein and it's a whey protein. Uh, pea protein, I, you know, to each his own. A lot of people are into the plant protein. I eat plenty of vegetables otherwise. I don't, I'm not you know, I'm not mad at a whey protein. It, it's real whey is really easily 
quickly absorbed by the body. So it's a good, it's a good post-workout. But some people can't handle whey. And some people want a vegan, you know, they want to go for the plant protein, which is fine. Um, I'm going to be really honest with you guys about this product because I was really, really excited about this. Not that I wanted to get into sales or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. But if I am a Zumba instructor and I can... I can, I have Zumba clothes. I think they're great. It's excellent quality. Um, the price isn't even all that bad when you compare it to other workout apparel, but these supplements, y'all, they're very expensive. So for a, um, for a 30 day supply of the Shake Shake Shake, it's like 129 bucks and you can sign up on a subscription for 99 and you get it 99 bucks. I, I'm sorry, that's too, it's too expensive, it's too expensive, I've already voiced my opinion on some of our Zumba instructor forums, and I'm not, I'm not bashing the company, I think that Zumba is a great company, I love everything else, it's great, um, I normally am not a dissatisfied customer, but when I saw the price, I just cannot in good conscience recommend this to you guys, because $129, if you just wanted to try a bag of it, that's a very, that's like four and a half dollars for one serving. That's, I mean, sure, maybe if you go to Starbucks regularly, that's not going to really bother you, but there are just as good quality protein powders out there on the market for, that cost less money, um, that have a higher protein content. And if you're going for a protein protein powder, um, the most that you should have in there, you should have a lot of protein in it, you know, and protein is not cheap, you know, but $129 just to try it. I mean, I don't know. That's, that's a little too rich for my blood. So I just, I mean, and I feel this with hesitation because I really don't want anybody to think that I'm speaking unkindly of the Zumba company. I really, I like the Zumba company. I like that. I like what they do. I like what they stand for. But I just, I can only recommend things that I can stand behind as far as everything. Taste, consistency, quality, flavor. Um, I already said taste. Um, and price. And I'm really driven by price. Maybe price doesn't bother you. Maybe you're, maybe that's okay. Um, that's the deal. It's, you know, decide for yourself, certainly. But for me, I cannot get behind it if it costs that much money. I just can't, you know. I got a high grocery bill and I don't need a supplement bill equally as high. You know what I'm saying? Times is tough. So anyway, that's the deal. I just wanted to film a little review for you guys real quick um, and let you know what the deal with that is. So anyway, hope y'all are doing good and hope you have a great day. All right. Peace out. Bye.